We live in difficult economic times. People are working harder and they're not making as much as they used to. But if you have a job, you start to feel really lucky. But some people in the workplace become victims of bullies in the workplace and they feel that they have no other choice because of these economic times but to put up with it and suffer in silence. I want to talk to you today about workplace bullying and what you can do in order to survive in this climate. If you're made to feel incompetent at work, even though your job performance is good and strong, that's one sign. If you're verbally harassed, threatened, if you have difficulty doing your job because you're tormented by one or more people, if you've answered yes to any of these statements that I've made, then you may be a victim of workplace bullying. I want you to know you're not alone. There are certain stats that say 35% of people who work in the United States, in corporations or other companies, or even small business, can be victims of workplace bullying. What is it? Workplace bullying is defined as a repetitive, ongoing pattern of verbal abuse and behaviors that are intended to threaten, frighten, embarrass, and it disrupts, it interferes, and inhibits your work productivity. Workplace bullying is often an abuse or a misuse of power that jeopardizes the victim's self-esteem, ability to work, and their very dignity. It's important to note that some bosses may come off as tough, but fair. Not all bosses are going to be bullied. 